Welcome back to another episode of Hammer Success. We're helping you achieve your dreams faster. I'm Jonathan Knott. Jonathan Yackling. And today we're talking about our personal morning routines and the importance of having one. So I'll let you start here and talk about what you kind of do in the morning routine. I'll go into mine and then we'll talk about the importance of well, why I have a morning routine. So, Well, I start my day off around 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, first thing I do, I get a glass of water. You know, I freshen up a little bit, brush my teeth. But before I do anything crazy like shower and all that, um, I go on the bike downstairs for about a half hour. I mean, I get about, you know, six miles in. Um, you know, I, you know, sweat, get that exercise in, which is great. Wakes me up. Right after that, you know, get another glass of water and maybe some Powerade to get the electrolytes back in there. Um, I'll say after that, uh, I go upstairs, you know, I freshen up, you know, take my shower, you know, get, get ready for the day. You know, and then after I'm all freshened up, I sit down for about a half hour, you know, kind of get my brain moving too. Um, I read, you know, make sure I get all that, uh, you know, just that stuff in because if you, you know, throughout the day, you know, you find yourself busy, you know, you're always going to make an excuse of, hey, you know, I don't have time to read. So just cram it in in the morning, you know, just sit down. You know, I, yeah, I do for a half hour, but if you don't have that time, you know, at least 10 minutes, you know, it really does get the brain moving. Um, and then, you know, after that, you know, I just, I go on with my day, you know, eat some breakfast and, you know, see what happens. What about you? Well, yeah, I definitely agree with you're saying. You got to really kind of know, like, what is it you don't really want to necessarily do, but you know you need to get done. You want to put that, like, first thing in the morning. Yeah. I know for me, like, especially with reading, don't always want to do it. And if I know, you know, pushing it back later in the day, later in the day, later in the day, it's not going to get done. So my morning routine, kind of similar to yours, basically wake up at 7 every day. Insulate two glasses of water. Very important. It's great for your health, too. A lot of studies have shown mm -hmm. that that two glasses of water, especially ice water in the morning, gets your metabolism flowing. Really great for your health. So that's something I definitely recommend, whether you have morning routine or not, adding that to it. Mm -hmm. um, after that, pretty much instantaneously, I run two miles. Um, the difference between our two morning routines that's interesting is that, personally for me, I'm not really great with like setting time limits, saying I'm going to run for a half hour, I'm going to read for a half hour. I'm more setting marker so to speak so i'm going to run two miles i'm going to read 30 pages not so much of run for an extended yeah. period of time or read for a period of time um but either way works you know it just whatever works for you personally whatever helps you kind of get through it so run two miles come in kind of take a shower you know get all freshen up and stuff like that eat some breakfast and then instantly go into 30 pages of reading that way no matter what else happens that day i've already read those 30 pages it's done and it's taken care of um and I'm not pushing that farther back into the day. And that's, like I said, very important is to make mm -hmm. sure that you have to figure out what it is you need to get done and do that. One thing I want to say about our morning routines here is that um, they're constantly growing. For me, I'm kind of only in the first couple weeks of mine, and I'm still trying to refine it, make it better, add things to it. Uh, so in about a month from now, we're going to get back to you with another morning routine video, kind of say how we've kept up on it, um, but also talk about what changes we've yeah. really added to it. And that's another thing I want to talk about here is the importance of sticking to your routine. And I'll let John talk, you know, kind of carry this away in a minute. Um, you really need to stick to it because, like this morning, I woke up. I didn't want to run two miles. I didn't want to, you know, get up at seven. But I realized that it's it's that first month that's the most important to getting that routine. It takes thirty days to make a habit about. Yeah. And so that first month, I think, is really important. You just gotta to stick to that routine and keep to it. Um, and that's one of the most important things when it actually comes to a routine is sticking to it making sure you do it every single day. Um, and that just helps you develop the, like, this is what I do in the morning. And that way it's no longer a question or a chore. It's just what you do. And it's all about developing that routine. So well, I'll let John yeah, I mean, go here with that. Yeah. What are you saying about, you know, consistency? That's extremely important. You know, I mean, yeah, it's really, you know, like you said, you know, sometimes for people it's difficult to do it the first couple of days. Sometimes it's really easy. It's keeping up with it. Mm -hmm. You know, for some people mm -hmm. that's extremely difficult. And, I mean, in my case, I mean, I'm one of those people. You know, yeah, I didn't really want to get up at 7, but, you know, I mean, yeah, it's the first couple of days here. It's really not that bad. It's keeping up with it. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I find difficulty with is making sure, you know, I do do this every day. You know, because if you don't have consistency, I mean, that, it flows into every other aspect of your life. You know, I mean, whether you're not, you're consistent with, I don't know, just being polite. You know, some people have a hard time speaking their mind or being honest with people. Um, and you know, the reading, you know, doing schoolwork or, you know, besides schoolwork, I mean, even doing actual work, you know, I mean, let's say you set a goal for waking up at eight o'clock, you know, every morning, you know, on either summer break or on your weekends, you know, it's pretty easy to do that, you know, your first couple of days here, but as you really start to pour into it, it, it really matters more and more whether or not you can stick with it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I mean, him, you know, Johnny and I, we, we've done, you know, different stuff together, right? And it really all depends on if you're committed or not. I mean, we'll talk about commitment, you know, in another video. But, you know, having that set routine, get that emotion type stuff, I mean, that, that's important for, I mean, your mind as well, though, you know, not just your health. You know, it really does set, you know, self-discipline, respect, and you give yourself more so of an outline of, you know, hey, I already know exactly what I'm doing at this time, so it's not up in the air all the time. Right. Well, that's definitely a great point. You know, the, it's the first week of your routine that's going to be the easiest, or first couple of days, because you're the most pumped to get it on. Yeah. But then when that, you know, excitement kind of wears off, then it really comes down to how disciplined are you? How badly do you want it? Because it's then it's going to come to that point of it's only you that's going to push you to get out of bed in the morning to go and do that morning routine. Um, the other important thing about a morning routine is that it gets you ready for the day. It gets your mind moving. Yeah. And the thing is, once you do your morning routine, don't stop. Don't just sit down and get you know start relaxing. Keep moving. Keep doing what you got to do because now you're pumped. You're ready to move from that morning routine. Um, but like we said, you know, you got to stick to it. You got to find the reason that you want to do it. Um, it's the kind of thing that you're not going to see a change in a week. You're not going to see a change in a month. But six months down the road, you will see a change. Oh. So you have to really kind of focus on that long-term goal. But you also need to focus on the short-term goal, goal, which is getting up in the morning and doing that morning routine. And then you have to figure out where is it that I want that to take me X amount of months down the road. Where do I want to be? And that's kind of my, at least my yeah. motivation to continue doing it, especially with like running and getting physically fit. I'm not going to see a difference in a week, but in three months, I might. Well, so, definitely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he runs, I bike, and sometimes I like, hop on the treadmill. I mean, you know, I, I run, you know, track and cross country and stuff, and that's what he's training to do. And, I mean, what he's doing is, I'll be honest, it's more than I did when I was first starting. You know, I mean, when I first started cross country, the first practice I went to, I thought it was going to be easy. You know, I didn't eat anything, didn't drink any water. You know, I was like, oh, this is going to be fine. This is going to be great. Got there, had to run three miles. Oh, man, I was wiped out for the rest of the day. It was terrible. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, the whole training and the discipline is a great thing. You can't just expect to, you know, hop into something and to be great at it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's the thing. Whatever it is you want to do, you know, for us, we're talking about cross-country, but we also want to be successful entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. Whatever it is you want to do, it doesn't matter. The thing's the same. You know, having morning routine is important in whatever field. You want to be a great musician, great sportsman, whatever it is, you just got to take the morning routine and just substitute well, your practices or your whatever it is you do in that yeah. morning routine for what you want to do. You know, if you don't want to be necessarily a runner, well, then you're not necessarily going to run unless physical fitness is important. You know, if you're not, if you don't want to be an entrepreneur, you're not going to read business books for a half hour. But whatever it is yeah. you want to do, you just got to figure that out and substitute in those practices for what we're talking about and create that morning routine. So that's pretty much it. Unless you yeah. have anything else you want to add. Nope. No, we're good. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you comment down below what your personal morning routine is. Um, we'd love to hear it, talk about it, kind of get a comment conversation going in the comment section about morning routines yeah. and that way we can kind of add to each other's and, you know, be supportive about it. So with that, we'll see you guys next time on Hamburg Success.